Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. We are very excited to show you what's new in the uh, new Power Archiver 2016. Uh, we spend a lot of time improving uh, Power Archiver in the past few months and as you can see we're featuring a brand new uh, interface optimized to look and work great with uh, Windows 10. Um, it features a bunch of uh, new and interesting and very good looking skins. Uh, here we have a lighter skin in the modern toolbar view, a dark skin as well, and a uh, favorite of a bunch of us, the classic skin has also been uh, improved. Now, along with a brand new interface and a brand new logo, uh, Power Archiver has remained uh, completely customizable. So if you like the old icons and kind of the old look, you still have the option to go back uh, to the original icon set, as you can see here, both in the classic and modern view. Uh, another uh, customizable option that we have uh, is display support for 2K and 4K screens, uh, along with uh, automatic scaling uh, for uh, various DPI settings that you may have. You can set Power Archiver to scale uh, the interface and the icons automatically, or do it manually as shown here. Um, touch screen support has also been added so if you're using Power Archiver on a touch screen uh, just turn on the touch mode as you can see here and Power Archiver will reconfigure itself to be much more uh, easier to use with your uh, touch screen. Um, our applications, uh, ones that we're all used to love, uh, have been updated and uh, are now uh, full uh, apps um, as you can see, uh, here we have the encryption suite that features all of the wonderful uh, encryption options that we've had previously, now along with the ability to encrypt, uh, decrypt, sign, and verify Office documents, as well as uh, encrypt and sign Adobe uh, PDFs as well. Um, the burner has been improved. Here's the full app interface, along with all the burning function functions previously featured. Um, we also have the ability to burn audio CDs as well as rip audio CDs um, as a WAV or WMA formats. Uh, a virtual drive is also available in the, uh, the burner full application as previously. Uh, the backup app has also been uh, set to behave as a full-pledged app. Uh, and here is the new interface um, along with the clouds. Uh, app as well. Now you can run these apps completely separately uh, and they will work great. Um, also, we've added a couple of new formats that you can now create using Power Archiver 2016. Here we go. Um, WIM and ZPAC formats have been added and now with Power Archiver 16 not only can you extract them, you can only, uh, you can uh, compress them as well. Uh, we will continue to improve and work on these formats based on uh, feedback from you, so please let us know uh, what you think. Uh, overall, uh, Power Archiver has improved immensely since we had to rewrite a lot of the things and the applications that we used, so they have been improved, uh, as you'll notice once you give it a try. Uh, also, um, languages, the amount of languages now supported in Power Archiver has increased tremendously. Uh, previously, we've only had, I think, up to 20 or something, uh, languages there, but now we are up to a lot more. So uh, please give Power Archiver 2016 a try. It's available on our website at uh, powerarchiver.com. Uh, um, let us know what you think. Uh, we're very welcome to hearing your thoughts and uh, any issues or suggestions you may have. Thanks for all the years in support of Power Archiver. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Pre please check out our other videos on our channel. Thank you.